We begin this evening with the Nascimento water infiltration line that has been reducing the need for rainwater in Paso Robles for a while, but some residents are unsure of exactly how it works. As your North County community reporter, Lindsay Hyatt, spoke with the city's water resources manager about that and the impact it's having on the community. Some community members I spoke with in Paso Robles tell me they take precautions with their water because they're unsure about the local water supply. We don't drink the water. We use bottled water. Others want to know why projects like the Nacimiento water infiltration line doesn't translate to an immediate reduction in rates. I spoke with the city's water resources manager, David Athey, about their concerns. We've been infiltrating water into the Salinas River for about over five years now. What this does is this keeps those well fields operating at full capacity uh, in the summer months when the, when the water level in the Salinas River drops uh, naturally just because we, we're not getting any more rain. Athey explained this infiltration line is one-third the cost of alternative water sources and cheapens Paso Robles residents' water rates over time. Our rates were last adopted in 2022, so we considered this uh, recharge in our rates so that the rates wouldn't actually be higher by relying on more expensive sources of groundwater. He also explained that projects like the infiltration line allow the wells to continue operating efficiently so residents can depend on their water. We have a water underflow in the Salinas River, and we have wells that are located just west of where we're standing. Those wells extract that water and treat it. We put chlorine, basically chlorinate it, put it into our tanks around the city for use of our uh, residents. In Paso Robles, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.